What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 40 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today we're going to do a live con double header. We're going to be taking on AC Milan at home and away to kick things off. We're taking a trip to the San Siro, a little bit of a uh, an unexpected I guess trip. If you told me at the start of this year we'd be playing AC Milan in a group stage of a European competition, I probably would have bitten your hand off, but we find ourselves here. There are a few games since the last episode, so we'll go over those real quick. Four games to be precise, the first of which a good 4-0 win in the Premier Division. This was against Britannia, Connolly with two, Peachman with two, cannot argue with that. The next game was against PSV Eindhoven, away from home for this game. We lost 2-0 in the end. It was a pretty good display and we only conceded an own goal in the 53rd minute. It was actually a really weird goal to concede and unfortunately for us, we did end up then conceding another through Usterveld and uh, that came our way in the 84th minute. This guy, Marcel Usterveld, he's 16 years old. He's better than all of our players. I mean, that really puts things into perspective, doesn't it? Who knows? Maybe, maybe next year we can sign him. Anyway, in terms of other stuff going on at the club, there were two more games. Uh, the first of which was against Gibraltar Phoenix, newly promoted side. To be fair, they actually put up quite stiff resistance in this game, but we did kind of persevere. We came through 3-1 in this game, Peachman, Connolly and Holmes with the goals in the end. And to round off these results, we took on Hound Dogs, and this was a less than convincing performance. We ended up winning 2-1. Uh, but looking at the stats here, Hound Dogs had a little bit more of the possession and they were definitely uh, worthy adversaries in this game. They were stiff opposition. Fortunately for us, we came through. Gary getting the Man of the Match award. This guy, 16 years old, doing absolute wonders for us. Two appearances so far in the league. And he has, of course, got three goals and two assists in 10 appearances in all competitions. So anyway, that's what's been going on there. All in all, pretty happy with the start to the year. Obviously unbeaten. We won the Pepe Reyes Cup last time out. Uh, today, as I mentioned, it's going to be the AC Milan game home and away. I'm not going to live come the Lynx and Gibraltar Lion games in between. We're going to skip those. There is about two weeks between these two games, so they're fairly uh, close together. I'm hoping we can maybe get a point in one of them. I think that's got to be the, the ambitious aim here. But let's get straight into this match. Going to be a tricky one. Uh, looking at it here. We're going to go with our 4-4-2 counter, of course. Uh, in terms of the squad, it's pretty much at full strength at this point. I'm still not sure who my best centre-back is to partner Holmes at the moment. Holmes, of course, joined us this year. Alongside him at the moment, I think for this game, we're going to play Adam Roberts. But I don't know. I feel like Roberts is a fantastic centre-back. But then we just have a load of fantastic centre-backs, really. There's no player that stands out like Home does at centre-back. And as a result, we kind of have Holmes, who's our main player... And then, well, there's just a few different centre-back options who we can try out and experiment with. Um, but yeah, let's get into today's game. It's going to be a tricky one here against AC Milan. In terms of other stuff going on at the club, I'm going to be honest, my timeline in terms of what's happened recently and if I covered it in the last live com is a little bit murky. Um, if I remember correctly, last episode we'd had, uh, the, well, I know we'd had the professional status approved. Since then, and I can't remember if I covered this before, but following on from us being promised professional status, I thought I'd ask the board uh, for an increased wage and transfer budget just to kind of see how much money they'd be willing to give me going into next season. And our wage budget was set at £30,000 a month, which is, at the moment we spend £5,000 a month to put it into perspective. So that's a few decent players hopefully joining us with those fees in the summer. Um, the other thing that's worth noting is that the wage budget, uh, sorry, no, the transfer budget was set at £3 million, which is a, a pretty hefty sum. And again, we're going to look to perhaps utilise that over the summer. I don't want to kind of change the team too soon. I don't want to sign too many players. But at the same time, I'm going to look to use that, especially if and when we go professional. I say if... Just because the game hasn't confirmed it. I've never seen a team's professional status get cancelled or the plans for professional status get cancelled. But I know that can happen with some of the other board requests. So it's something I'm going to be a little bit wary of. But I'm kind of surprised at how much money the board have given us. Of course, the team does have £6 million in the bank. And I believe last episode I did some rough maths and uh, worked out that if we were to qualify for the Europa League and receive £1.7 million a year uh, in prize money for getting to that stage... That would be enough to cover us paying £30,000 a week on our wages. So I guess my math wasn't too far off there. Anyway, at the moment in this game, AC Milan on top. We've had a few chances and we've actually got the ball here. Although I say that, we give it straight away to Martial. Um, AC Milan, they've got a little bit of a, a curious squad here. I noticed a few players I, I recognise. Mohamed Salah out on the left, Martial up front. We need to defend here. Salah turns our players inside and out. Felix, though, fantastic save. Look at the stats. 
AC Milan five shots in the first eight minutes. I mean, it's a little bit of a shooting gallery at the moment, but we've kept a clean sheet for 15 minutes away from home. The San Siro is certainly one of the uh, most well-known, I guess, and iconic stadiums, I think, in Europe. I think feel like most people will agree uh, with that statement. And we want to make a statement, I guess, here as a club, show some resilience. If we can hit them on the break, fantastic. But we just want to we want to show we're worthy of being in this competition and getting to this stage. Of course, so far in the group stage, we drew with Berraspor 0-0, and then we lost to PSV 2-0. If we can limit AC Milan to two goals, that would probably be a victory in my eyes, but that's going to be a massive task, and they bring the ball forward with Peruzzi there, a player who is a little bit of a familiar name, of course, from our Liverpool save earlier on uh, in this football manager's life cycle. So, 20 minutes in, there's been a lot of highlights here. I'm going to check we're not on extended highlights. We're not. There has just been a lot of shots on our goal, and uh, Felix has done pretty well so far. Although, to be fair, AC Milan, they've only had three shots on goal, but they are bringing the ball forward here. Sergio Oliveira out wide to Peruzzi. He is a good wing back. Don't foul him. Glenn Gilbert, fantastic little tackle, but the ball could still be whipped in here. Gilbert goes out, but can't close him down. Peruzzi, Sergio Oliveira back to Peruzzi. Mohamed Salah. Salah scores, breaks the deadlock here. It took 21 minutes. We put up some stiff resistance in the end. Uh, AC Milan's early dominance is rewarded with a goal. And it's not entirely surprising, really. Mohamed Salah, the man getting it. Nice build-up play here by them, to be fair. We just didn't close down our man. Mohamed Salah looked like he came in from an offside position. I do wonder if Morgan at right-back was playing him on. Um, that was perhaps my gut instinct there, unfortunately, for us. But um, it's 1-0. I mean, I said I'd take 2-0. That's looking a little bit ambitious, I guess, given how this game has gone so far. But we're going to do our utmost here. And uh, AC Milan actually on the attack again here. Throwing a lot of men forward. And Peruzzi with the ball here. Options in the box. Salah already one goal to his name. Hits the woodwork. Felix going to make the save there to keep it at 1-0. That was a clear-cut chance. And well, after half an hour, after half an hour, it's only 1-0 here. Although I may well have jinxed it. I have jinxed it. It's Anthony Martial with the goal. His sixth goal of the season for AC Milan. 31 minutes on the clock, it's 2-0. This is the result that I said I'd be happy with. I mean, it's a pretty packed stand, and they've got a few better-looking banners than we have. Um, quite an intimidating atmosphere, I think it's fair to say, to come into here um, at the San Siro. I'm going to switch to contain. We're going to try and park the bus, I think, as best we can. I kind of feel like that is the best option for us at this point. I can't see us scoring, well, three goals that we'd need to come back to win this game. Although, I say that... We've got possession here. We are still on our counter-attack system. If we score one, might be tempted to play on the counter-attack. And Connolly actually going to go through here. Hits the woodwork. And it is cleared away. But that was a real opportunity. Disappointing that we couldn't take that chance that came our way. Would be quite an achievement just to score here at the San Siro. But unfortunately there, the woodwork denying us. But at half-time... It's only 2-0. I'm going to go with the standard. You were unlucky. The players absolutely love it, as they always do. And we're going to keep our chin up in this game and just keep going if we can. I think our aim really for this Europa League was to get a point. And we did that in the first game. So anything else is really a bonus. I guess the last game of the group stage against Boraspor is a game that I'm hoping that we could maybe do something in. I mean, we got a draw 0-0 against them previously. So we've proven that we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. But I don't know. I think we have that last game away from home. That's going to be a big game to try and win. But anyway, we're on the attack here. O'Connor whips the ball in. Connolly is there. Shoots. It's saved again. I mean, we've had two clear-cut chances here. This could be 2-2. It really could be. But unfortunately for us, just not taking a few of the chances that have came our way. Connolly, he's had a little bit of a game to forget. Our star man, really, in terms of the striker position. Um, you know, he found an opportunity there. But unfortunately, just could not find the back of the net for us. We do have a set piece, though. Sutton whips it in. Missed away and now AC Milan going to unleash Mohamed Salah. He is a speed demon, the Egyptian. And the Pharaoh goes through and he scores and makes it 3-0. And with 20 minutes left, um, that is game over. If game over hadn't already been declared. Going to make a few changes here. Just going to get on some fresh legs. Ben Connolly, really disappointed performance here. But uh, not the man who I'm going to sub off here. I'm going to take off Leon O'Connor. He's just struggling a little bit with fitness compared to a few of the other players around him. Want to give Griffo a chance here in the group stage. Um, but yeah, disappointing. I mean, not the worst performance by any means. To have two clear-cut chances away from home here against AC Milan, I mean, that's nothing to be scoffed at. It's a little bit unfortunate, I guess, that we've not been able to score, that we've not been able to take our chances, that we've not been able to get back into it. I do need to give a massive shout-out to the fans here in this away end. 
I don't know why that replay started playing back so slowly, so let's just skip it. But um, yeah, Salah's kind of torn us apart in this game, unfortunately. We're still searching for that elusive goal. If we could get just one, as I said, I'd be pretty happy with that as an achievement. But we do need to defend here. AC Milan bringing the ball forward. Gilbert, though, with the tackle. And now Connolly, he might be through again. Can he play pass the ball across? He can. Murray's there. Murray scores. I mean, it's 3-1. We've got a goal at the San Siro. John Murray with his first goal of the season. Not a bad time to do it. Borussia getting beaten 4-0. And because of their goal difference and because of the fact they've lost to both uh, PSV and, uh, of course, AC Milan, they actually are below us in the group at the moment, which is a little bit mad. And uh, you know, you know what? It's not been the worst performance here by any means. We've got a goal. We've not been completely dominated this game. We've given a plucky display here. We've really shown kind of the character of the squad, the fact that we don't give up. I really want to keep the score line to three one if we can, because as I mentioned, the goal difference could be the difference between bottom in the group and second from bottom. I'm not sure if your placement in the group stage affects your club coefficient or if it's done off the results. But um, yeah, that's something to hold on to. But anyway, it looks like it's going to be full-time here in the first match of the live con. Going to finish 3-1 to AC Milan. But, I mean, that that was a fairly good performance. Unlucky, boys. They absolutely love that. That was a top performance. As I mentioned, because of the goal difference kind of situation, we actually go above Borussia at the moment, which isn't too bad. Hopefully, PSV can hammer Borussia in the next leg. We can get a half-decent result against AC Milan and limit their goal scoring. And who knows? Maybe we can get second from bottom in the group stage. That is going to be something to aim for. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up this match. I will be back in a second. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Uh, I've started on my coaching course, which is going to be for four months. The club are paying the £1,000 it needs. And also you can see here the transfer budget increase I mentioned, going up to £3.24 million. But anyway, I will join you guys in a second for that second match. We'll cover the games in between. Stick around. So it's the 5th of November. We're back, guys. Second leg coming your way. But first, just a quick look at the results between, obviously, the game that you've just seen and today's fixture. Uh, the first result, 6-1 against Lynx. Great performance. Loads of different goal scorers. Glenn Gilbert grabbing two. Peachman grabbing two. Top, top team performance. And then in the next game, we only beat Gibraltar Lions 2-1. A little bit of an underwhelming result, this one. Uh, we did dominate the game for the most part, but I would have liked to have had it a little bit more comfortable when Lee Gibson scored for them in the 87th minute. It certainly did become squeaky bum time. Anyway, let's have a look here at the Premier Division. We are top now by four points. We're looking pretty good there. Lots of the teams in the division beating one another, which puts us in a, a quite strong position early on. Anyway, let's have a look here at the Europa League Group D. I mentioned just a second ago the fact that the uh, Borussia game was the last game of the group stage. That was a lie. Our last game is actually against PSV Eindhoven. And um, yeah, we're going to come back and live com that game for you guys next time around. Anyway, let's get into today's game. We're taking on AC Milan. In terms of the team, I've already got it set up on our counter-attacking tactic. Just going to ask our assistant. He should put Gary into the team. I did rotate the squad just a little bit for the second league match. You know, get some fresh legs on. Uh, just rotate things. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go with this team. Hopefully, we can put in a good performance. Bonavia and Holmes playing at centre-back. Bonavia uh, put in a really, really good performance in the game where we scored six against Lynx. He actually got a goal himself as well. So, I kind of feel like he's earned to a start here in the Europa League. We are at home for this match. Against AC Milan in that first leg, we only lost 3-1. That wasn't a bad performance, but we're going to try and step things up here in this second game. If we can work a miracle, fantastic. Um, if we could hold on to a point somehow, that would be incredible. But I think in reality, we just want to save face. In front of our home fans, we don't want to get hammered. And Salah hits the woodwork and Martial with the rebound. I said we don't want to get hammered. Conceding after seven minutes probably isn't the way to go about doing that. Looking at the stats here, AC Milan was 78% of the possession. Uh, initial shot here by Mohamed Salah, rebounds off the crossbar. Martial gets a tap in for the rebound. Disappointing stuff there, but I mean, it's early days. We can still come back into it, he says, as um, AC Milan are on the attack. Shoots Felix with the save there, nice little stop. Going to switch to contain here. We're going to park the bus, I'm sorry. I know it's not entertaining, but... I don't know, in this kind of game where backs against the wall, we're playing against a team with just better players, I kind of feel it's the best course of action. Anyway, they have a chance here. Martial grabs his second of the game. Two goals for him here. Got one, of course, in that first leg as well. So pretty disappointing. I mean, I don't know. 
I said last ep- uh, last match and earlier on in this episode, I'd be happy with 2-0 away from home. At home, I was hoping for a little bit of a stronger performance, but looking at the stats early on here, I mean, we're only half an hour in, and AC Milan look absolutely dominant and rampant. And they're going to have another set piece here. They've had a fair few of these. This time they hit the crossbar, and Gary does clear it. Um, but not for the first time, AC Milan hitting our woodwork in this game. And we are living life a little bit precariously at the moment. If we can get into half-time at 2-0, that would be okay. They've got another set piece here, though. Martial with the shot, looking for the hat-trick. Cleared off the line. Back out wide, though, with Espinosa. The attack, though, does peter out. And we are spared, at least for now. At half-time, going to be 2-0. I'm going to tell the players they've been unlucky so far. I think we're going to switch back to our counter system. Part of me wants to play the 4-4-2 attack and just try. But at the same time, that is going to really open us up at the back and. I don't know, at 2-0 we still have a shred of dignity, I guess you could argue. So we'll see how we get on here. Uh, Griffo starting out on the left ahead of O'Connor. I think O'Connor's on the bench, he is indeed. Um, O'Connor, he's still not natural at left mid. And um, I want to give Griffo a game. I gave him a game uh, last time against AC Milan, as you guys know, as he came in uh, off the bench. But I want to give him a start here. He's a player who's been at the club since the beginning. I have a soft spot for him. Martial does not have a soft spot for us. He has been merciless here. He gets his hat trick. It took one minute into the second half for them to do that. I'm going to switch to the 4 4 2 attack. I don't want to watch the replay. 3 uh, 0 down. We want to try and get a goal. We want to try and give the fans something to shout about if we can. But we know in going forward and doing that change, we are going to leave ourselves more susceptible at the back. Uh, Milan, 27 shots already, and Martial looking for his fourth here, bearing down on goal, and Holmes commits the foul, gives away the penalty, and now Martial from the penalty spot with a chance to add to his tally against us and get his fifth goal of the season against us alone. He steps up, shoots, Felix saves it, fantastic stop by him. Unfortunately for Felix here, that save, whilst absolutely incredible, really isn't going to change a lot about this game, you'd have to feel... Um, there's 25 minutes left. We need three goals to get anything from this game. Although we are on the attack here, but dispossessed Peachman there. And now Martial coming forward. He's got pace. Again, in behind. Can he whip in a board? He pulls it back to Espinosa, who cuts inside and shoots and scores. And Martial today, he's been on a whole other level. He has torn us apart. Glenn Gilbert, 5.6 rating for him. This is a match for Glennie to forget. It's been a terrible performance, really. I'm going to bring in Morgan, who can't play left back. To play that left back. The right back, uh, he has the attributes, I guess, to play the role. But you'd have to say he's underwhelming with the exception of that. Do I want to make any other changes to this team? I don't think I do. Part of me wants to bring in Nixon. Yeah, let's bring in Neil Nixon, actually. That is the change that we will make here. Um, ah, it's disappointing. Disappointing. I feel like for the most part this year, particularly, we've really done ourselves proud against the bigger teams. We've got some fantastic upsets on the way here. And we've not really been thumped, but this is turning into a thumping. It's 4-0. And at home, that's a little bit disappointing, obviously. Fans turning out in force, you know, a complete sellout here at the Victoria Stadium. And, well, they're being treated to this. And it's just not particularly great, is it? There's going to be 15 minutes left of this game. Hopefully, we can see it out. If we can get a goal, fantastic. Gary goes out wide to Griffo, crosses it in. Peachman's there. Peachman scores. I mean, it's 4-1. We've got a goal. We've given the fans something to cheer about. At least we went on attacking and it wasn't all for nothing here. Griffo with the ball whipped in. And it's just Peachman who gets to this second header. The initial clearance not completed. And uh, I guess you could say Donnarumma there should probably be doing a little bit better between the sticks. But we're not going to complain. It's 4-1. Connolly pulls his hamstring. We might as well take him off. There's no point in risking injury. We will make that change there. And with two minutes left, I mean, that's going to be all she wrote. An okay point in the end. Uh, I say point. An okay match, I guess, in the end. We got a goal in both legs. I mean, we tried. We didn't just sit back and, uh, you know, take a beating. Again, I'm going to tell the players they were unlucky. It's a little bit disappointing, I guess, for episode 40 to just be two defeats as it has been. Um, but at the same time, it's a learning experience here against AC Milan. It's the biggest games in the club's history. I thought you guys would like to see them. In terms of when we'll be back, I think for episode 41, we will be back for the Ironhoven game. That will be the last game of the group stage. So hopefully I'll see you guys for that. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash the like. But if you've got any comments, leave them down below. Thank you for watching as always, guys. It is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.